The Horn of Africa is a peninsula in East Africa that juts into the Gardafui Channel, lying along the southern side of the Gulf of Aden and the southwest Red Sea. The area is the easternmost projection of the African continent. The Horn of Africa denotes the region containing the countries of Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Regional studies on the Horn of Africa are carried out, among others, in the fields of Ethiopian studies as well as Somali studies. Names This peninsula is known by various names. In ancient and medieval times, the Horn of Africa was referred to as the Balad al-Barber land of the Berbers. It is also known as the Somali Peninsula, or in the Somali language, Giska Africa, Jaysirata Somali or Gakanhulka Somali. In other languages that are local or adjacent to the Horn of Africa, it is known as Yafrika Khand in Amharic, Alkarn Alafriki al Karn al Afriki in Arabic, Gafa Afriaka in Oromo, and in Tigrinya. The Horn of Africa is sometimes shortened to Wa. The Horn of Africa is quite commonly designated simply the Horn, while inhabitants are sometimes colloquially referred to as Horn Africans. Sometimes the term Greater Horn of Africa is used, either to be inclusive of neighboring Northeast African countries, or to distinguish the broader geopolitical definition of the Horn of Africa from narrower peninsular definitions. Ancient Greeks and Romans referred to the Somali peninsula as Regio Aromatica or Regio Cinnamonifora due to the aromatic plants, or Regio Incognita owing to its unchartered territory. History Topic. Topic. Prehistory Topic. Shell middens 125,000 years old have been found in Eritrea, indicating the diet of early humans included seafood obtained by beachcombing. According to both genetic and fossil evidence, archaic Homo sapiens evolved into anatomically modern humans solely in Africa between 200,000 and 100,000 years ago and may have dispersed from the Horn of Africa. Today at the Bab el Mandeb Straits, the Red Sea is about 12 miles 20 kilometers wide, but 50,000 years ago it was much narrower and sea levels were 70 meters lower. Though the straits were never completely closed, there may have been islands in between which could be reached using simple rafts. According to linguists, the Horn of Africa is the original homeland of the Proto-Afroasiatic language as it is considered the region the Afroasiatic language family displays the greatest diversity, a sign often viewed to represent a geographic origin. The Horn of Africa is also the place where the haplogroup E1b1b originated from. Christopher Eret and Shomarka Keita have suggested that the geography of the E1b1b lineage coincides with the distribution of the Afroasiatic languages. Genetic analysis done on the Afroasiatic speaking population further found that a pre agricultural back to Africa migration into the Horn of Africa occurred through Egypt 23,000 years ago and it brought a non African ancestry dubbed Ethio Somali in the region. Topic. Ancient history Topic. Together with northern Somalia, Djibouti, the Red Sea coast of Sudan and Eritrea is considered the most likely location of the land known to the ancient Egyptians as Punt or Ta Netjeru, meaning God's land, whose first mention dates to the 25th century BCE. D Mount was a kingdom located in Eritrea and northern Ethiopia, which existed during the 8th and 7th centuries BCE. With its capital at Yeha, the kingdom developed irrigation schemes, used plows, grew millet, and made iron tools and weapons. After the fall of D Mount in the 5th century BCE, the plateau came to be dominated by smaller successor kingdoms, until the rise of one of these kingdoms during the 1st century, the Aksumite Kingdom, which was able to reunite the area. The Kingdom of Aksum, also known as the Aksumite Empire, was an ancient state located in the Eritrean highlands and Ethiopian highlands, which thrived between the 1st and 7th centuries CE. A major player in the commerce between the Roman Empire and ancient India, Aksum's rulers facilitated trade by minting their own currency. The state also established its hegemony over the declining kingdom of Kush and regularly entered the politics of the kingdoms on the Arabian Peninsula, eventually extending its rule over the region with the conquest of the Himyarite kingdom. 
Under Azana, Florida, 320 to 360, the Kingdom of Aksum became the first major empire to adopt Christianity, and was named by Mani as one of the four great powers of his time, along with Persia, Rome, and China. Northern Somalia was an important link in the Horn, connecting the region's commerce with the rest of the ancient world. Somali sailors and merchants were the main suppliers of frankincense, myrrh and spices, all of which were valuable luxuries to the ancient Egyptians, Phoenicians, Mycenaeans, Babylonians and Romans. The Romans consequently began to refer to the region as Regio Aromatica. In the classical era, several flourishing Somali city-states such as Opon, Misalan and Malo also competed with the Sabaeans, Parthians and Aksumites for the rich Indo-Greco-Roman trade. The birth of Islam opposite the Horn's Red Sea coast meant that local merchants and sailors living on the Arabian Peninsula gradually came under the influence of the new religion through their converted Arab Muslim trading partners. With the migration of Muslim families from the Islamic world to the Horn in the early centuries of Islam, and the peaceful conversion of the local population by Muslim scholars in the following centuries, the ancient city-states eventually transformed into Islamic Mogadishu, Berbera, Zila, Barawa and Merka, which were part of the Berber civilization. The city of Mogadishu came to be known as the City of Islam, and controlled the East African gold trade for several centuries. Topic. Middle Ages and Early Modern Era Topic. During the Middle Ages, several powerful empires dominated the regional trade in the Horn, including the Adal Sultanate, the Ajuran Sultanate, the Warsingali Sultanate, the Zagwe dynasty, and the Sultanate of the Gelady. The Sultanate of Shoa, established in 896, was one of the oldest local Islamic states. It was centered in the former Shiwa province in central Ethiopia. The polity was succeeded by the Sultanate of Ifat around 1285. Ifat was governed from its capital at Zila in northern Somalia and was the easternmost district of the former Shiwa Sultanate. The Adal Sultanate was a medieval multi ethnic Muslim state centered in the Horn region. At its height, it controlled large parts of Somalia, Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Eritrea. Many of the historic cities in the region, such as Ahmud, Maduna, Abassa, Berbera, Zila and Harar, flourished during the kingdom's golden age. This period that left behind numerous courtyard houses, mosques, shrines and walled enclosures. Under the leadership of rulers such as Sabr ad-Din II, Mansur ad-Din, Jamal ad-Din II, Shams ad-Din, General Mafiz and Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al-Ghazi, Adalite armies continued the struggle against the Solomonic dynasty, a campaign historically known as the conquest of Abyssinia or Futa al-Habish. The Warsingali Sultanate was a kingdom centered in northeastern and in some parts of southeastern Somalia. It was one of the largest sultanates ever established in the territory, and, at the height of its power, included the Sanag region and parts of the northeastern Bari region of the country, an area historically known as Makir or the Makir coast. The sultanate was founded in the late 13th century in northern Somalia by a group of Somalis from the Warsingali branch of the Darad clan, and was ruled by the descendants of the Jared Didan. Through a strong centralized administration and an aggressive military stance towards invaders, the Ajuran Sultanate successfully resisted an Oromo invasion from the west and a Portuguese incursion from the east during the Hal Madau and the Ajuran Portuguese Wars. Trading routes dating from the ancient and early medieval periods of Somali maritime enterprise were also strengthened or re-established, and the state left behind an extensive architectural legacy. Many of the hundreds of ruined castles and fortresses that dot the landscape of Somalia today are attributed to Ajuran engineers, including a lot of the pillar tomb fields, necropolises and ruined cities built during that era. The royal family, the House of Garin, also expanded its territories and established its hegemonic rule through a skillful combination of warfare, trade linkages and alliances. The Zagwe dynasty ruled many parts of modern Ethiopia and Eritrea from approximately 1137 to 1270. The name of the dynasty comes from the Cushitic speaking Aga people of northern Ethiopia. From 1270 onwards for many centuries, the Solomonic dynasty ruled the Ethiopian Empire. In the early 15th century, Ethiopia sought to make diplomatic contact with European kingdoms for the first time since Aksumite times. A letter from King Henry IV of England to the Emperor of Abyssinia survives. 
In 1428, the Emperor Yeshak sent two emissaries to Alfonso V of Aragon, who sent return emissaries who failed to complete the return trip. The first continuous relations with a European country began in 1508 with Portugal under Emperor Lebna Dangal, who had just inherited the throne from his father. This proved to be an important development, for when Abyssinia was subjected to the attacks of the Adal Sultanate general and Imam Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al Ghazi, called Guri or Gran, both meaning the left handed, Portugal assisted the Ethiopian emperor by sending weapons and 400 men, who helped his son Jeladwis defeat Ahmad and re establish his rule. This Abyssinian Adal War was also one of the first proxy wars in the region as the Ottoman Empire, and Portugal took sides in the conflict. When Emperor Susenyos converted to Roman Catholicism in 1624, years of revolt and civil unrest followed resulting in thousands of deaths. The Jesuit missionaries had offended the Orthodox faith of the local Ethiopians. On June 25, 1632, Susanya's son, Emperor Fasilides, declared the state religion to again be Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, and expelled the Jesuit missionaries and other Europeans. During the end of 18th and the beginning of 19th century, the Yeju dynasty, more specifically, the Warasek, ruled North Ethiopia, changing the official language of Amhara people to Afan Oromo, including inside the court of Gondar, which was capital of the empire. Founded by Ali I of Yeju several successive descendants of him and Abba Seru Gwangal ruled with their army coming from mainly their clan the Yeju Oromo tribe as well as Walo and Raya Oromo. The Sultanate of the Geledi was a Somali kingdom administered by the Gobrun dynasty, which ruled parts of the Horn of Africa during the 18th and 19th centuries. It was established by the Ajuran soldier Ibrahim Adir, who had defeated various vassals of the Ajuran Empire and established the House of Gobrun. The dynasty reached its apex under the successive reigns of Sultan Yusuf Muhammad Ibrahim, who successfully consolidated Gobrun power during the Bardera Wars, and Sultan Ahmed Yusuf, who forced regional powers such as the Omani Empire to submit tribute. The Majirdin Sultanate was another prominent Somali Sultanate based in the Horn region. Ruled by King Osman Muhammad during its Golden Age, it controlled much of northeastern and central Somalia in the 19th and early 20th centuries. The polity had all of the organs of an integrated modern state and maintained a robust trading network. It also entered into treaties with foreign powers and exerted strong centralized authority on the domestic front. Much of the Sultanate's former domain is today coextensive with the autonomous Puntland region in northeastern Somalia. The Sultanate of Hobio was a 19th century Somali kingdom founded by Sultan Yusuf Ali Kenadid. Initially, Kenadid S' goal was to seize control of the neighboring Majirdin Sultanate, which was then ruled by his cousin Bokor Osman Muhammad. However, he was unsuccessful in this endeavor, and was eventually forced into exile in Yemen. A decade later, in the 1870s, Kenadid returned from the Arabian Peninsula with a band of Hadrami musketeers and a group of devoted lieutenants. With their assistance, he managed to establish the Kingdom of Hobio, which would rule much of northeastern and central Somalia during the early modern period. Topic. Modern history Topic. In the period following the opening of the Suez Canal in 1869, when European powers scrambled for territory in Africa and tried to establish coaling stations for their ships, Italy invaded and occupied Eritrea. On January 1, 1890, Eritrea officially became a colony of Italy. In 1896 further Italian incursion into the Horn was decisively halted by Ethiopian forces. By 1936 however, Eritrea became a province of Italian East Africa Africa Orientale Italiana, along with Ethiopia and Italian Somaliland. By 1941, Eritrea had about 760,000 inhabitants, including 70,000 Italians. The Commonwealth Armed Forces, along with the Ethiopian Patriotic Resistance, expelled those of Italy in 1941, and took over the area's administration. The British continued to administer the territory under a UN mandate until 1951, when Eritrea was federated with Ethiopia, as per UN Resolution 390 and under the prompting of the United States adopted in December 1950. The strategic importance of Eritrea, due to its Red Sea coastline and mineral resources, was the main cause for the federation with Ethiopia, which in turn led to Eritrea's annexation as Ethiopia's 14th province in 1952. 
This was the culmination of a gradual process of takeover by the Ethiopian authorities, a process which included a 1959 edict establishing the compulsory teaching of Amharic, the main language of Ethiopia, in all Eritrean schools. The lack of regard for the Eritrean population led to the formation of an independence movement in the early 1960s 1961, which erupted into a 30-year war against successive Ethiopian governments that ended in 1991. Following a UN-supervised referendum in Eritrea dubbed UNOVER, in which the Eritrean people overwhelmingly voted for independence, Eritrea declared its independence and gained international recognition in 1993. In 1998, a border dispute with Ethiopia led to the Eritrean-Ethiopian War. From 1862 until 1894, the land to the north of the Gulf of Tajora situated in modern-day Djibouti was called Obak and was ruled by Somali and Afar sultans, local authorities with whom France signed various treaties between 1883 and 1887 to first gain a foothold in the region. In 1894, Lawrence Lagardi established a permanent French administration in the city of Djibouti and named the region Côte Française des Somalis French Somaliland, a name which continued until 1967. In 1958, on the eve of neighboring Somalia's independence in 1960, a referendum was held in the territory to decide whether or not to join the Somali Republic or to remain with France. The referendum turned out in favor of a continued association with France, partly due to a combined yes vote by the sizable Afar ethnic group and resident Europeans. There was also reports of widespread vote rigging, with the French expelling thousands of Somalis before the referendum reached the polls. The majority of those who voted no were Somalis who were strongly in favor of joining a united Somalia, as had been proposed by Mahmoud Harbi, vice president of the government council. Harbi was killed in a plane crash two years later. Djibouti finally gained its independence from France in 1977, and Hassan Gold Aptidin, a Somali politician who had campaigned for a yes vote in the referendum of 1958, eventually wound up as the nation. S. First President 1977 In early 2011, the Djiboutian citizenry took part in a series of protests against the long-serving government, which were associated with the larger Arab Spring demonstrations. The unrest eventually subsided by April of the year, and Djibouti's ruling people's rally for Progress Party was re-elected to office. Muhammad Abdullah Hassan S. Dervish state successfully repulsed the British Empire four times and forced it to retreat to the coastal region. Due to these successful expeditions, the Dervish state was recognized as an ally by the Ottoman and German empires. The Turks also named Hassan Emir of the Somali nation, and the Germans promised to officially recognize any territories the Dervishes were to acquire. After a quarter of a century of holding the British at bay, the dervishes were finally defeated in 1920 as a direct consequence of Britain's new policy of aerial bombardment. As a result of this bombardment, former dervish territories were turned into a protectorate of Britain. Italy faced similar opposition from Somali sultans and armies, and did not acquire full control of parts of modern Somalia until the fascist era in late 1927. This occupation lasted until 1941, and was replaced by a British military administration. Northern Somalia would remain a protectorate, while southern Somalia became a trusteeship. The union of the two regions in 1960 formed the Somali Republic. A civilian government was formed, and on July 20, 1961, through a popular referendum, a new constitution that had first been drafted the year before was ratified. Due to its long standing ties with the Arab world, Somalia was accepted in 1974 as a member of the Arab League. During the same year, the nation's former socialist administration also chaired the Organization of African Unity, the predecessor of the African Union. In 1991, the Somali Civil War broke out, which saw the collapse of the federal government and the emergence of numerous autonomous polities, including the Puntland administration in the Northeast and Somaliland, an unrecognized self-declared sovereign state that is internationally recognized as an autonomous region of Somalia, in the Northwest. Somalia S inhabitants subsequently reverted to local forms of conflict resolution, either secular, Islamic or customary law, with a provision for appeal of all sentences. 
A transitional federal government was subsequently created in 2004. The federal government of Somalia was established on August 20, 2012, concurrent with the end of the TFG's interim mandate. It represents the first permanent central government in the country since the start of the Civil War. The Federal Parliament of Somalia serves as the government's legislative branch. Modern Ethiopia and its current borders are a result of significant territorial reduction in the north and expansion in the east and south toward its present borders, owing to several migrations, commercial integration, treaties as well as conquests, particularly by Emperor Menelik II and Ras Gabina. From the central province of Shoa, Menelik set off to subjugate and incorporate the lands and people of the south, east and west into an empire, he did this with the help of Ras Gabina. S. Shiwan Oromo militia, began expanding his kingdom to the south and east, expanding into areas that had not been held since the invasion of Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al-Ghazi, and other areas that had never been under his rule, resulting in the borders of Ethiopia of today. Menelik had signed the Treaty of Wihale with Italy in May 1889, in which Italy would recognize Ethiopia's sovereignty so long as Italy could control a small area of northern Tigray part of modern Eritrea. In return Italy, was to provide Menelik with arms and support him as emperor. The Italians used the time between the signing of the treaty and its ratification by the Italian government to further expand their territorial claims. Italy began a state-funded program of resettlement for landless Italians in Eritrea, which increased tensions between the Eritrean peasants and the Italians. This conflict erupted in the Battle of Adwa on 1 March 1896, in which Italy's colonial forces were defeated by the Ethiopians. The early 20th century in Ethiopia was marked by the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie I, who came to power after Iyasu V was deposed. In 1935, Haile Selassie's troops fought and lost the Second Italo-Abyssinian War, after which point Italy annexed Ethiopia to Italian East Africa. Haile Selassie subsequently appealed to the League of Nations, delivering an address that made him a worldwide figure and 1935's Time magazine Man of the Year. Following the entry of Italy into World War II, British Empire forces, together with Patriot Ethiopian fighters, liberated Ethiopia in the course of the East African Campaign in 1941. Haile Selassie's reign came to an end in 1974, when a Soviet-backed Marxist-Leninist military junta, the Derg led by Mengistu Haile Mariam, deposed him, and established a one-party communist state, which was called the People. S. Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. In July 1977, the Agaden War broke out after the government of President of Somalia Siad Bar sought to incorporate the predominantly Somali-inhabited Agaden region into a pan-Somali Greater Somalia. By September 1977, the Somali army controlled 90% of the Agaden, but was later forced to withdraw after Ethiopia's Derg received assistance from the USSR, Cuba, South Yemen, East Germany and North Korea, including around 15,000 Cuban combat troops. In 1989, the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front TPLF merged with other ethnically based opposition movements to form the Ethiopian People's. Revolutionary Democratic Front EPRDF, and eventually managed to overthrow Mengistu's dictatorial regime in 1991. A transitional government, composed of an 87-member Council of Representatives and guided by a national charter that functioned as a transitional constitution, was then set up. The first free and democratic election took place later in 1995, when Ethiopia's longest-serving Prime Minister Meles Zanawi was elected to office. As with other nations in the Horn region, Ethiopia maintained its historically close relations with countries in the Middle East during this period of change. Zanawi died in 2012, but his Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front party remains the ruling political coalition in Ethiopia. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Geology and climate Topic. The Horn of Africa is almost equidistant from the equator and the Tropic of Cancer. 
It consists chiefly of mountains uplifted through the formation of the Great Rift Valley, a fissure in the Earth's crust extending from Turkey to Mozambique and marking the separation of the African and Arabian tectonic plates. Mostly mountainous, the region arose through faults resulting from the Rift Valley. Geologically, the Horn and Yemen once formed a single landmass around 18 million years ago, before the Gulf of Aden rifted and separated the Horn region from the Arabian Peninsula. The Somali Plate is bounded on the west by the East African Rift, which stretches south from the triple junction in the Afar Depression, and an undersea continuation of the rift extending southward offshore. The northern boundary is the Aden Ridge along the coast of Saudi Arabia. The eastern boundary is the Central Indian Ridge, the northern portion of which is also known as the Carlsberg Ridge. The southern boundary is the Southwest Indian Ridge. Extensive glaciers once covered the Simien and Bale Mountains but melted at the beginning of the Holocene. The mountains descend in a huge escarpment to the Red Sea and more steadily to the Indian Ocean. Socotra is a small island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Somalia. Its size is 3,600 square kilometers 1,390 square miles and it is a territory of Yemen. The lowlands of the Horn are generally arid in spite of their proximity to the equator. This is because the winds of the tropical monsoons that give seasonal rains to the Sahel and the Sudan blow from the west. Consequently, they lose their moisture before reaching Djibouti and Somalia, with the result that most of the Horn receives little rainfall during the monsoon season. In the mountains of Ethiopia, many areas receive over 2,000 mm per year, and even Asmara receives an average of 570 mm This rainfall is the sole source of water for many areas outside Ethiopia, including Egypt. In the winter, the northeasterly trade winds do not provide any moisture except in mountainous areas of northern Somalia, where rainfall in late autumn can produce annual totals as high as 500 mm on the eastern coast, a strong upwelling and the fact that the winds blow parallel to the coast means annual rainfall can be as low as 50 mm The climate in Ethiopia varies considerably between regions. It is generally hotter in the lowlands and temperate on the plateau. At Addis Ababa, which ranges from 2,200 to 2,600 meters (7,218 to 8,530 feet), maximum temperature is 26 degrees Celsius (78.8 degrees Fahrenheit) and minimum 4 degrees Celsius (39.2 degrees Fahrenheit). The weather is usually sunny and dry, but the short bell rains occur from February to April, and the big mare rains from mid-June to mid-September. The Donakil Desert stretches across 100,000 square kilometers of arid terrain in northeast Ethiopia, southern Eritrea, and northwestern Djibouti. The area is known for its volcanoes and extreme heat, with daily temperatures over 45 degrees Celsius and often surpassing 50 degrees Celsius. It has a number of lakes formed by lava flows that dammed up several valleys. Among are Lake Asale 116 meters below sea level and Lake Juleti, Afrera 80 meters below sea level, both of which possess crypta depressions in the Donakil Depression. The Afrera contains many active volcanoes, including the Maraho, Dabahu, Aftara and Erda Ale. In Somalia, there is not much seasonal variation in climate. Hot conditions prevail year-round along with periodic monsoon winds and irregular rainfall. Mean daily maximum temperatures range from 28 to 43 degrees Celsius 82 to 109 degrees Fahrenheit, except at higher elevations along the eastern seaboard, where the effects of a cold offshore current can be felt. Somalia has only two permanent rivers, the Juba and the Shabal, both of which begin in the Ethiopian highlands. Ecology <inaudible> <inaudible> About 220 mammals are found in the Horn of Africa. Among threatened species of the region, there are several antelopes such as the Beira, the Dibitag, the Silver Dikdik and the Speak's Gazelle. Other remarkable species include the Somali wild ass, the desert warthog, the Hamadryas baboon, the Somali pygmy gerbil, the Amadile, and the Speak's Pectinator. The Grevy's zebra is the unique wild equid of the region. There are predators such as spotted hyena, striped hyena and African leopard. The endangered painted hunting dog had populations in the Horn of Africa, but pressures from human exploitation of habitat along with warfare have reduced or extirpated this canid in this region. Some important bird species of the Horn are the black booboo, the golden-winged grosbeak, the warsangli linnet, and the Djibouti franklin. 
The Horn of Africa holds more endemic reptiles than any other region in Africa, with over 285 species total and about 90 species which are found exclusively in the region. Among endemic reptile genera, there are Hawkgrierius, Hemodracon, Dityphophus, Pachycalamus, and Aeloroglina. Half of these genera are uniquely found on Socotra. Unlike reptiles, amphibians are poorly represented in the region. There are about 100 species of freshwater fish in the Horn of Africa, about 10 of which are endemic. Among the endemic, the cave-dwelling Somali blind barb and the Somali cavefish can be found. It is estimated that about 5,000 species of vascular plants are found in the Horn, about half of which are endemic. Endemism is most developed in Socotra and northern Somalia. The region has two endemic plant families, the Barbaceae and the Darashmaceae. Among the other remarkable species, there are the cucumber tree found only on Socotra Socotrana, the Bankaule palm, the Yahib nut, and the Somali cyclamen. Due to the Horn of Africa's semi-arid and arid climate, droughts are not uncommon. They are complicated by climate change and changes in agricultural practices. For centuries, the region S. Pastoral groups have observed careful rangeland management practices to mitigate the effects of drought, such as avoiding overgrazing or setting aside land only for young or ill animals. However, population growth has put pressure on limited land and led to these practices no longer being maintained. Droughts in 1983–85, 1991–92, 1998–99 and 2011 have disrupted periods of gradual growth in herd numbers, leading to a decrease of between 37% and 62% of the cattle population. Initiatives by ECHO and USAID have succeeded in reclaiming hundreds of hectares of pastureland through rangeland management, leading to the establishment of the Dakale Rangeland in 2004. Topic. Ethnicity and languages Topic. Besides sharing similar geographic endowments, the countries of the Horn of Africa are, for the most part, linguistically and ethnically linked together, evincing a complex pattern of interrelationships among the various groups. According to Ethnologue, there are 10 individual languages spoken in Djibouti, 14 in Eritrea, 90 in Ethiopia, and 15 in Somalia. Most people in the Horn speak Afroasiatic languages of the Cushitic or Semitic branches. The former includes Oromo, spoken by the Oromo people in Ethiopia, and Somali, spoken by the Somali people in Somalia, Djibouti, and Ethiopia. The latter includes Amharic, spoken by the Amhara people of Ethiopia, and Tigrinya, spoken by the Tigrayan people of Eritrea and Ethiopia. Other Afroasiatic languages with a significant number of speakers include the Cushitic Afar, Saho, Hadiya, Sadamo and Aga languages, as well as the Semitic Tigra, Arabic, Grage, Harari, Silt and Argoba tongues. Additionally, Omotic languages are spoken by Omotic communities inhabiting Ethiopia's southern regions. Among these idioms are Aari, Dizi, Gamo, Kafa, Hamer, and Woleda. Languages belonging to the Nilo Saharan and Niger Congo families are also spoken in some areas by Nilotic and Bantu ethnic minorities, respectively. These tongues include the Nilo Saharan Mi, N, and Mercy languages used in southwestern Ethiopia, and Kunama and Nara idioms spoken in parts of southern Eritrea. In the riverine and littoral areas of southern Somalia, Bajuni, Barawani, and Bantu groups also speak variants of the Niger-Congo Swahili and Mushungali languages. Culture The countries of the Horn of Africa have been the birthplace of many ancient, as well as modern, cultural achievements in several fields including agriculture, architecture, art, cuisine, education, literature, music, technology and theology to name but a few. Ethiopian agriculture established the earliest known use of the seed grass teff between 4000 BCE. Teff is used to make the flat bread injera, taita. Coffee also originated in Ethiopia and has since spread to become a worldwide beverage. Ethiopian art is renowned for the ancient tradition of Ethiopian Orthodox Christian iconography stretching back to wall paintings of the 7th century CE. Somali architecture includes the Fakr ad-Din Mosque, which was built in 1269 by the Fakr ad-Din, the first sultan of the Sultanate of Mogadishu. 
Ethiopia, too, is renowned for its ancient churches, such as at the UNESCO World Heritage Site at Lalibela. The Horn has produced numerous indigenous writing systems. Among these is J. E. Z. script, G. Z. also known as Ethiopic, which has been written in for at least 2,000 years. It is an Abugida script that was originally developed to write the J. E. Z. language. In speech communities that use it, such as the Amharic and Tigrinya, the script is called Fidel, which means script or alphabet. In the early 20th century, in response to a national campaign to settle on a writing script for the Somali language which had long since lost its ancient script, Osman Yusuf Kenadid, a Somali poet and remote cousin of the Sultan Yusuf Ali Kenadid of the Sultanate of Hobio, devised a phonetically sophisticated alphabet called Osmanya also known as Far Somali, Osmanya, for representing the sounds of Somali. Though no longer the official writing script in Somalia, the Osmania script is available in the Unicode range 10480-104AF from U plus 10480U plus 104AF 66688-66735. The Somali writer Nuruddin Farah has also garnered acclaim as perhaps the most celebrated writer ever to come out of the Horn of Africa. Having published many short stories, novels and essays, Farah S. Prose has earned him, among other accolades, the Premio Cavour in Italy, the Kurt Tucholsky Prize in Sweden, and in 1998, the prestigious Neustadt International Prize for Literature. In the same year, the French edition of his novel Gifts also won the St. Malo Literature Festival. S. Prize, the music of the Ethiopian highlands uses a unique modal system called Qnet, of which there are four main modes Tezeta, Bati, Ambassal, and Ankihoi. Three additional modes are variations on the above, Tezeta minor, Bati major, and Bati minor. Some songs take the name of their cunet, such as Tezeta, a song of reminiscence, in the field of technology, the Great Steel of Aksum, at over 100 feet 30 meters long, was the largest single stone ever quarried in the ancient world. Additionally, the glossy lifestyle magazine Shiko is published quarterly for and by the Horn community. Topic. Religion. Topic. Most inhabitants in the Horn of Africa follow one of the three major Abrahamic faiths. These religions have had a long-standing adherence in the region. The ancient Aksumite kingdom produced coins and stelae associated with the disc and crescent symbols of the deity Ashtar. The kingdom later became one of the earliest states to adopt Christianity, following the conversion of King Azana II in the 4th century. Islam was introduced to the northern Somali coast early on from the Arabian Peninsula, shortly after the Hijra. Zila's two Mirab Masjid al-Qiblatain dates to the 7th century, and is the oldest mosque in Africa. In the late 9th century, al-Yaqabai wrote that Muslims were living along the northern Somali seaboard. He also mentioned that the Adal kingdom had its capital in the city, suggesting that the Adal Sultanate with Zila as its headquarters dates back to at least the 9th or 10th century. According to I.M. Lewis, the polity was governed by local Somali dynasties, who also ruled over the similarly established Sultanate of Mogadishu in the littoral Benadir region to the south. Adal history from this founding period forth would be characterized by a succession of battles with neighboring Abyssinia. Islam was introduced to the region early on from the Arabian Peninsula, shortly after the Hijra. At Muhammad's urging, a band of persecuted Muslims had fled across the Red Sea into the Horn. There, the Muslims were granted protection by the Aksumite king Ashama ibn Abajar. Additionally, Judaism has a long presence in the region. The Kebra Nagast, Book of the Glory of Kings. Relates that Israelite tribes arrived in Ethiopia with Menelik I, purported to be the son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba Makeda. The legend relates that Menelik as an adult returned to his father in Jerusalem, and then resettled in Ethiopia, and that he took with him the Ark of the Covenant. The Beta Israel today primarily follow the Orit from Aramaic, Orita, Torah, which consists of the five books of Moses and the books Joshua, Judges and Ruth. A number of ethnic minority groups in southern Ethiopia also adhere to various traditional faiths. Among these belief systems are the Nilo-Saharan Surma people's acknowledgement of the sky god Tumu. Sports 
Topic. In the modern era, the Horn of Africa has produced several world-famous sports personalities, including long-distance runners such as the world record holder Kenanisa Bekel and Durartu Tulu, the first Ethiopian woman to win an Olympic gold medal and the only woman to have twice won the 10,000-meter Olympic gold in the short history of the event. One of the most successful runners from the region has been Haile Gebra Selassie who was acclaimed as Athlete of the Year 1998 by the International Association of Athletics Federations IAAF. As well as numerous gold medals in various events, Gebra Selassie achieved 15 world records and world bests in long and middle distance running, including world record marathon times in 2007 and 2008. Somali athlete Abdi Bayal became a world champion when he won the 1,500 meters for men at the 1987 World Championships in Athletics, running the final 800 meters of the race in 1 minute 46 seconds and 0 milliseconds, the fastest final 800 meters of any 1,500 meter track race in history. Eritrea has established the cycling event the Tour of Eritrea. In recent years, the Somali diaspora produced a football star in Ayub Dodd, a midfielder who plays for Juventus in Italy's Serie A. Zara Bani, a Somali Italian javelin thrower, has garnered attention with her performances that so far have earned her adopted Italy a silver medal at the 2005 Mediterranean Games, as has Mo Farah, a Somali British athlete that took gold for his adopted Great Britain in the 3,000 metres at the 2009 European Indoor Championships in Turin and later golds in both the 10,000 metres and 5,000 meters at the 2012 London Olympics. Topic: Economy. Topic: According to the IMF, in 2010 the Horn of Africa region had a total GDP (PPP) of $106.224 billion and nominal of $35.819 billion. Per capita, the GDP in 2010 was $1,061 PPP and $358 nominal. .States of the region depend largely on a few key exports Economy of Ethiopia, coffee 80% of total exports. Economy of Somalia, bananas and livestock over 50% of total exports, over 95% of cross-border trade within the region is unofficial and undocumented, carried out by pastoralists trading livestock. The unofficial trade of live cattle, camels, sheep and goats from Ethiopia sold to other countries in the Horn and the wider Eastern Africa region, including Somalia and Djibouti, generates an estimated total value of between $250 and $300 million annually 100 times more than the official figure. This trade helps lower food prices, increase food security, relieve border tensions and promote regional integration. However, there are also risks as the unregulated and undocumented nature of this trade runs risks, such as allow disease to spread more easily across national borders. Furthermore, governments are unhappy with lost tax revenue and foreign exchange revenues. Much of the Horn Nation's trade links are with Middle Eastern countries. In 2011, an event hosted by the Arab Center for Research and Policy Studies in Doha, Qatar devoted several days of discussion to ways in which countries in the Horn region and the adjacent Arabian Peninsula could further strengthen these historically close economic, social, cultural and religious ties. See also Incense route Operation Enduring Freedom, Horn of Africa, Silk Road National History, History of Djibouti, History of Eritrea, History of Ethiopia, History of Somalia, Sultanates and Kingdoms. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. History of the Horn of Africa. Horn of Africa News Agency. Somali Acacia Comifora Bushlands and Thickets. Terrestrial Ecoregions. World Wildlife Fund. Horn of Africa Biodiversity Hotspot. African Wild Dog Conservancy's Biodiversity Hotspots page CIA World Factbook, Djibouti 
CIA World Factbook, Eritrea CIA World Factbook, Ethiopia CIA World Factbook, Somalia A "'Child Alert' issued by UNICEF for the Horn of Africa Yemen Horn of Africa Link Horn of Africa Concerns from the Dean Peter Krogh Foreign Affairs Digital Archives Combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa Official Website CFR. Org Interactive Map, Horn of Africa Global Governance Institute Analysis on the Horn of Africa and the EU 1. <laughs>